What's up guys? It is Black Friday and I am out here taking a first look at the Furby X215 Pro Racing Quadcopter here. I've got the Free Sky Bind and Fly version. I've already got it bound up to my radio. Welcome to OpenTX. Acro mode off. I'm going to start out in uh, horizon. horizon or stability. Actually, we'll just go for angle. So you can try it out line of sight. Oh, you don't want to put your drone in duck poop. That's step number one. Let's give it an arm. Oh. That's our launch. So here I'm flying in close range, fully stabilized. As you can see. All right, let's, let's just go for, uh, after we do a basic hover here. I want to go for a punch out. All right, let's do it. Wow. Let's do that again. On your mark. Three, two, one. And that is a decent punch. All right. So enough of that. Let's do some FPV. First, I'm going to go ahead and get a fresh battery in there because this has been used. I want to point out how when I put the battery on here, I kind of ensure that there is no chance this little balance connector could uh, come loose because this these batteries kind of have a long connector. So I just kind of wrap my uh, battery up just like that. Just a quick tip. If you ever want to try to protect these little balance connectors, it's good to wrap them up. Keeps you from uh, chopping the hell out of them with your props. Also, um, this strap, I would have to say, I'm gonna probably change this strap. I don't feel like it's super secure. I've actually got a little piece of yellow putty underneath. It keeps it nice and uh, secure to the things. It's probably just me being paranoid, but having lost batteries previously to uh, non-rubberized straps, I just want to make sure that it stays on there nice and, t nice and tightly. All right, I didn't change the video transmitter, so I have no idea what the uh, channel settings are, but that's what I got my LaForge diversity receiver for. I'm going to go ahead and scan the band. And it looks like it is A8. Band A, channel 8. We're getting a really, really good reading from that particular band. So, all right, let's do some FPV. And we're in acro mode. I'm going to arm it. And we're ready to take off. All right, let's see how we do. Pretty smooth so far. Actually, really pretty smooth. I'm not getting any ESC desyncs. Video feed's pretty okay too. Check that out. All right, let's do let's do uh, a quick flip. Woo! That was freaking awesome. All right, let's do let's do a quick um, full throttle up. Now I definitely don't understand something now. I think the A is the amperage on that you see on there, but no matter how hard I punch it, it's not really showing me that I'm using more than 40 amps, so I think that's broken. Yeah, that amperage monitor on the OSD there is broken, so I'm probably just going to get rid of that. It doesn't, it doesn't affect the flight at all, I just figured I'd point it out. I kind of wanted to see how many amps I was drawing, but... Looks like that's not going to be possible. Woo! 
This is a smooth flight. I'm, I, I definitely enjoy it. Whoa. Getting a little blurry on the uh, VTX there. I'm flying around behind me now, over by the high school. Just got a pretty clear feed though. I don't feel like there's a ton of lines all over my uh, FPV screen. I know that in some of the earlier models of this, people complain about there being like lines on the uh, the FPV screen. And it looks like this version, I don't have that problem. So that's pretty cool. We're coming in about three minutes of flight time at this point, sort of with gentle flying here. Ah, we are definitely running low on battery now. You can hear it, you can hear it beeping. And we're off again in air mode. Sort of just circling the field now. But yeah, you can definitely tell that the A, if the A is for amp draw, is uh, accurate. It looks like it's broke. I only have a hard time believing that this thing only draws 40 amps. But I've already droned on <laughs> about that enough. I know, that was really corny. I'm not going to do that again. Sorry, guys. Alright, we didn't get enough power loops in last time. So let's do some power loops. We'll do some power loops now. Alright. Set myself up to do this. And... Three, two, one. Alright, that really wasn't a power loop. That was more like a quick flip. Let's try to do this again. Oh, now that was good. I like how I like how when I push on the throttle, the the amps go down. That's funny. Is there something wrong with the little current sensor on there? I'm really pushing this battery. Flying them behind me. Oh, that was a rough landing, but I'm sure it's just fine. On that particular battery, I don't think we got as much flight time as we normally would because it's not one of my uh, 100C graphenes from China Hobby Line. It was a different battery. And it's got some goose poop on it, but it survived. So what are my impressions of the Ferry B X215 Pro? Well, this is my first few flights out here and overall, I'm really happy with it so far. Uh, it's got good power. I'm not having any trouble with it. Just got it in last week from GearBest and looks like it's going to be one of my solid racing units. Definitely going to look into a better strap. Um, I don't like these prop nuts because these are like the uh, pointy screw-on types. I'm going to get some regular M, uh, M5 nuts. I'm going to look for some that will fit on this motor chef. Should just be a standard kind of thing, hopefully. And uh, that should be it. I'll probably change out this little antenna here. But it is nice that they're actually including a uh, Pagoda antenna is what it looks like. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. And as always, have a great day, guys. This is just a first look. I'm definitely going to be returning to this drone in the future.